happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. Joining me tonight, tip -off. Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian as, Anderson, as they along should. with reporter Ali LaForce. Mm. We'll see the Houston mm. Rockets facing the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now let's take a look at the Rockets opening lineup. watching this team face because and Russell Westbrook pulls it down. Westbrook and Harden versus Westbrook and Harden. Pass to Malone. This one for three. Mm. Harden's shot is good. I say Harden. Well, Harden will both teams should probably eat all night. This <laughs> Harden on both teams. From the arc can be devastating. Defensive liability. So three look at that. Harden. Oh, can't get it to go. he was a little jiggle away. The other way now. From from that dropping. Now Harden. He was he was a jiggle away. Oh, look at. Harden. <laughs> He jams it mm. home with authority. <laughs> Check it out. Harden putting oh on a show, throwing down and yeah, it's Harden. Oh, Harden on both teams. <laughs> it's gonna be a Harden show right here, bro. Slam look, look at them. Now they're going now back at each other again. Oh, up top Westbrook from deep. Oh, that's too deep. Missed it. Now 0 for one on this game. I know that he has the ability and confidence to, to sink that shot, <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. Oh, oh no! Westbrook making bad choices on both sides of the, the ball. Here's both teams. Harden, oh Harden. yeah. Drops mm. in the three. Harden, Harden's got nowhere eight. to be found. It's defending so Harden. and efficient on the <laughs> offensive end. I mean, when Harden is Harden, not nowhere to be found. Play, it's Harden. He's finishing. Three. Now here's Westbrook from deep. Outside Durant. Oh yeah, KD. That's there you go. And so Their West first points on the night come from KD. There. They get it going. I'm telling you, one he's gonna be Always the one good for them to tonight. That they gotta lean Westbrook on him heavy. Westbrook, three pointer, Harden. Mm. And no good. And the Thunder going the other way now. I'm surprised Harden Westbrook didn't get that to be honest. To oh, the steal from Russell. Clean <laughs> drive. The drive. Hey, the monster jam. We got some flair on that one. Westbrook is vicious when attacking the rim. Three-pointer, Harden. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Harden against Harden. Westbrook outside. <laughs> Harden against Harden. It's a three-pointer. Westbrook's got his second basket on the night. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and I think they're just going to be offense. cooking each other back and forth. Here's Harden. Harden, Harden show right here. Oh, calling for a screen on Harden. Four, oh. three. <laughs> three. Harden misses. If he had got that to go, you'd have known this was about to be a circus. To the right here. Oh, Malone. Oh, Malone. And it's okay. Down. A nice jam. And break it hey, this rock squad. Man, an emphatic way to extend uh, the NBA the champions uh, two seasons ago. And we're made it to the playoffs last year, first quarter. where nice I think they got absolutely the destroyed by the, the Spurs. The way does. Um, you know, but they they were looking to, to get a little bit of youth um, off the bench. You know, they had. Chris Paul and a little older Chris Paul, you know, um, had him retire. Had a couple older people in their lineup and couldn't quite take it all the way like they did the season before. So, you know, they're hopeful for this season, man. Hawkins, they said, has only gotten better. You know, last year, all year, it was kind of back and forth between him and Tracy McGrady. This this year, it's just him. Now here's Westbrook. You know, so they, they said he stepped up and elevated his game in a major way. And there's a whistle. He'll head to man, the line. They got to foul. Stop him, man. On Russell Westbrook. Unfortunately, you can't stop him. Foul. Westbrook is a stat stuffer. But for him, at this stage of his career, it's about trying to win titles. And that's mm. good as he hits both shots. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. With a screen on Westbrook. Westbrook can't hit. Westbrook against Westbrook. Shoots over Westbrook. That one a little long. Hey, Westbrook against Westbrook. Shoots over Westbrook. 
Durant's shot is off. And Westbrook He's been with the off defense. this whole period. <laughs> Unable to sustain any kind Man, of consistency. I'm saying they got to do it through KD, but he's been one of four. Passed him alone. Here's Dawkins. Yeah, if you're the Rockets, he, they kind of had to know that was coming. They've defended him pretty well. The now they're up the story of 12. This game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor I'm the three ball. Here. You can Harden off the, ooh, in a hurry. off the screen. Surprisingly, Harden, though, Harden oh, caught through the screen. Five. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. And a good, yeah, I'm saying good defensive play to disrupt the lob there. And Here's Dawkins. Now Dawkins. Mm. And the oh, nice, easy Westbrook. lay. Westbrook. Oh, and he's cradling him. He's cradling himself. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're mm. way out in front. Here's Dawkins. And the Rockets hit again from deep. Dude. <laughs> they are letting those threes fly from outside. Really in a great rhythm. Timeout call. Rockets. It's under. It's time to talk this over and yeah. try to put a stop to this. Run. I'm surprised OKC right didn't now, call the timeout. It feels out, so like the really. pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. I mean, you're down at 17 here. Yeah, yeah, 17. I mean, if it gets to a 21 point lead, we just sim it. On defense, on back, they, they've been skunked. 17 point game. And for his offense, so it's this like, has just been a brutal period. I mean, this could be the, the first skunk of the season here. And here's Harden. Takes oh, three. wow, that's deep. But he has it. They're up 20. Very effective so far. A successful a defensive effort here. And it's helped them build and see us simming this before we even see the bench aggressive. hit the floor now here's for Westbrook. either team, which is crazy. For his first basket still in this one. To me, there's a fine and, line. And yeah, Westbrook is gone absolutely cold. It. His inability to and make sure. Meanwhile, on the other end, Westbrook is on fire. Westbrook, and yeah, they go yeah, up 23 hard. there. That's uh that's gonna lead in the early sim, the first sim of uh, the first early sim the first skunk i should say of the season <laughs> Time um, to i'd be very surprised if okc came back and won but they did wow uh, so maybe them being so bad actually saved them the computer simming as much of it as we did the sim maybe got got that little advantage slowly they they had enough time to catch them on the big end you know but um that was wild that, this is actually a wild result. This, if this game didn't go to OT, I'd be very surprised. They were 37 and 19 for the first quarter. They gave up, okay, maybe eight of those points, seven of those points back. They're still up 11 and a half. All right. They're still up nine in the fourth quarter. This is blowout territory. And somehow they go out there, they shoot a whopping zero. Talk about, talk about choking. Zero percent from from beyond the arc in the in a whole quarter of basketball. Nine attempts, zero makes from beyond the arc. That's the game right there. If just one of those drop, they go to OT. If two of those drop, if they shoot an abysmal two of a nine from beyond the arc, they still win this game. So obviously, that's what we're gonna have to take a look at here. That's that's the sole reason they lost this game, and we gotta take a look at that immediately. Let's let's go to the e fourth quarter numbers. First of all, why didn't Westbrook or Harden take a single three? Dawkins going o of five. Once you go o of three, he should have been done in the fourth. Okay, he should have been done. He should have been red lighted. No more threes for you, buddy. Why is, why is Elijah Wan? Why why is Elijah Wan taking a, a three pointer? And then Tracy McGrady missing his only attempted three. That's surprising. Who else though? Steve Francis going zero of two. That's surprising as well. I think if if Steve makes one, McGrady makes one. That's that's the game. The game's the other way. But you don't want to. I mean, you don't want to blame it on two guys off the bench. Right? You want to say, why the heck is Elijah Wan shooting them? Why is Dawkins shooting five of them? Right? And not making them. And why didn't Westbrook or Harden shoot any? 
all these three point attempts that you had, nine of them in the quarter, you know, it's a pretty hefty amount. You're drawing these plays up, and not a single one of them was for Westbrook or Harden. That seems crazy to me. That seems that seems egregious. But let's take a look at the, at the total game. Westbrook started out on fire, finished with 21. James Harden even had a double double on the night. Why <laughs> why were these guys more involved in the fourth quarter? They didn't foul out, did they? No, not even close. Why weren't they more involved in the fourth quarter? You had a blowout. Did you rest them or something? <laughs> Did you think you had the game in hand and you didn't? And you were just too proud to put him back? What what happened? I I, I gotta know. I really gotta know. I mean, Moses was six or seven. He he got, he executed the game plan well. Elijah wanted a miserable four of eleven, but it it shouldn't have mattered. It shouldn't have mattered. They were up so big. It shouldn't have mattered. Wow. Um. Meanwhile actually getting outscored <laughs> by Westbrook just crazy because he had zero in the first quarter. He was 0-5. So he flips the script, comes back. Durant gets off 17. Ray Allen had 16 off the bench with a, a fantastic four or five from beyond the arc. Um, but not, they didn't even really, nobody even really did anything special for, for OKC. Other than, I mean, yeah, Sean Kemp was perfect. You know, three or three on the, on the few shots he took. Like, I mean, yeah, and these guys were one on one and had a couple other decent stats as well. And oh, Byers did have four steals and three blocks, which I guess is pretty, pretty solid. Um, three blocks for Sean Kemp as well. But I mean, like rebound wise, no one had an elite number rebound wise. No one had elite numbers assist wise, um, except maybe Gary Payton off the bench with eight. And he had three steals. You, you know, you had a few people that had some good uh, defensively. They had a night forcing turnovers, getting blocks defensively, especially in that fourth quarter. They were off the hinges and that's what won him the game. So I got to give him respect to that. But how, how you go? O of nine. This is look, when you go to this man, he doesn't even have a highlight because he did nothing in the first quarter. And he's their leading scorer on the game. You should beat a team that does that. How do you go 0 of 9 in the fourth quarter? 0 of 9? I, I, we got to look at it again, bro. <laughs> 0 of 9. At that point, you got to think, at some point, once you get like 0 of 5 as a team, you got to think, okay, let's change it up. Let's just attack them, right? They're, they're trying to come back. Let's, let's, hey, let's get free. Let's get to the line. They only went to the line once. Oh, of nine. They couldn't do anything. 